use a fader to switch to each cue of a sequence. This is a nice feature, but how to program that? A cue step fader is very useful, for example, to activate colors directly. or positions, or for groupings on an effect. This feature is not directly provided in the Grandimate 2. How to build such a fader itself? I will show you now. First, you have to create your own fixture. To do this, I go to the section Patch in the new Setup and click on Fixture Types. Here I click on Add to create a new fixture. I give a name and a short name. Then I click Edit to set individual attributes. I need a dimmer and 10 dummy channels. These 10 channels will later control the individual cues of my sequence. The dimmer is virtual, so the dummies are mapped to the DMX channels and then connected to the dimmer. Default must be set to 100 here. Then I leave the area again and go to the DMX profiles. I need 10 DMX profiles and I will label them step 1 through step 10. To edit a DMX profile, I have to select it and then click to edit. I can add, edit and remove points here. I click table mode and then decimal to enter values directly. I now define individual areas for the DMX output of each profile. I go back to Fixture Types, choose my fixture and click Edit again. Here I connect now the created DMX profiles with my fixture. After I did that, my fixture is ready. Now I create a new layer in the patch area and patch my fixture on DMX Universe 3. I store my new fixture in a group. Then I enter 100% intensity and save that into a sequence. Now you can see exactly what our new fixture is doing. I already patched some moving lights. I save an intensity fader and a sequence with 10 cues. In these cues, I only save the color values.
To connect the Q-step fader to the sequence, I go to Setup and then to Remote Input for the layer DMX inputs. I add 10 new remote inputs. DMX Universe 3, Channel 1 till 10, is the workspace of my Q-step fader. I want that the inputs do a command and then I enter the specific command in the column CMD. And already my Q-step fader is finished. I can use this fader in many ways, for positions or for effect grouping. In the next tutorial, it will be a bit funny. I show you how to create a Vegas fader and program a Vegas mode on the console. And so that you don't miss it, you should subscribe this channel immediately. This is a video from feeds.de. My name is Feeds and I would like to thank you all for watching. Subscribe to feeds.de now.